Hello, welcome back to Rat Drop. I gotta move you a little closer here. Wait, how'd you get so far away? What are you doing all the way over there? What the heck? Let's get into it, shall we? I believe that if if patterns are to be believed based on a few things, one of them being uh, the rate at which I'm seeing the devs post sneak peeks on Twitter, I believe Scientist Plus will probably be out within like five days. That's gonna be my guess. Pretty uh pretty sweet, I gotta say. I'm excited for it. If if we're lucky and it comes out really soon, I don't even have to play another round of Builder Plus, wouldn't that be sweet? Honestly I wouldn't mind playing another round of Builder Plus though. Like I am kind of enjoying it. Or I was anyway, towards the end where we started winning and I started to be like, oh I understand. But, you know. Anyway, how's it going? How you doing today? It is Saturday. It means that it's Sunday for you. Sunday? No, no. It is Sunday. It's Monday for you. Is it? Hold on, I gotta... What day is it? It is Sunday. It's not Saturday. I don't know anymore. I've lost track. Where am I? Sunday. Alright. Like, wait, wasn't this? I thought uh, I said that and I was like, wait, it was Saturday yesterday, wasn't it? It was. It sure was. Hopefully you're doing well on this fine, fine uh, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, whatever day it is. Really, does it matter anymore? It matters a little bit. Eventually we're going to return to some semblance of normalcy and you're going to have to know what day of the week it is again. I hope. I don't really like any of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing a medic here. Medic is a pick that falls off post 20, but he should get us to 20, so I'm gonna try just having like one or two medics mixed into the army on either side. So I've never done this before, and I'll pick other units that'll just be there to get us to the other or get us to the end. So let's see how it is. No, not much. Uh, you know, not a whole lot new. Two houses here for sure. We uh, or I just just recently launched the the new content. The Neon Abyss series is up. Went up yesterday. Today, I've seen some of your comments. Thank you for the support as always. It's nice to see. Uh, these are not good. It's nice to see. Like it, it was nice to go from. Hey, I think I want to start a new series to starting a new series. It took, it took me a while, but in the future I'll be able to go pretty pretty quickly on it, I hope. But it's nice to just like kind of start probing the edges, right? Try to start try to start uh, trying out some new stuff and seeing what is liked and is not liked, right? Because I could I could absolutely just sit here and play Monster Train and Rattropolis for the rest of time, but it's it's gonna you know it's gonna take the advisor silent sure. I imagine that eventually it would hit a point where it's uh, a point of uh, stagnation, I suppose. Change is good. So we're gonna try some change every now and then. I don't know what else I wanna play though. Like really, this is the big problem, right? There's a great, there's a reason that I reach a point of stagnation. It's cause I play the same like three games for all eternity, typically. League, whatever deck building card game I'm playing. And then uh, basically that's it right now. So, content creation is mostly hard just because I have to find other games to play. That's not easy. Did you know there's other games? It's not just Slay the Spire? I know, right? I'm gonna remove, all, I'm gonna remove the cheese. It's definitely a bait to think about keeping cheese in there. Restaurant sounds fine to me. But no, I don't know what I'm gonna play. Mostly it's just like I have to do my best to try and be interested in the new games that are coming out and even if i even if i don't play them for a long time i think i like, grab a game play it for like a week or two and then move on sort of deal but i don't know like neon abyss is pretty fun i'm enjoying it and then we'll look at what else comes out when i'm looking for another pivot i'll take two tanneries and a wall here lowers my income a bit but fine I think that since there's no fat boys, I don't need to move these boys. There 
maybe didn't lose anything. They took two shots though, so it probably wasn't worth it. Probably shouldn't play it like that. Although Medic Militia can probably hold this down. I'm gonna grab Steel here. When you give me you give me the silent, you kinda have to grab steel. I mean you don't have to, but anything that increases your redraw timer gets a little messy. Our our build is probably fine. We just gotta wait. Gotta play this wall. And we should be okay. I think that this run shouldn't be too bad. We have our early game unit. I think I need to be a little more respectful of units that just let us survive the early game with certainty. I really didn't hit steel, that's crazy. Like Medic, I don't respect Medic as I've uh, often pointed out. However, Medic is making it so that I take absolutely no deaths on this, on this uh, first 10 waves, which is really, really good. So I should probably respect Medic a little more. If I'm starting to think that your first shop, similar to Builder Plus, your first shop needs to have something that is going to put you in a stronger position for the rest of the run. Or like, it, it, you don't have to win wave 20 right now sort of thought process, right? Something that's like pretty obvious from playing other deck builders, but for some reason in Metropolis it never really, never really clicked that I didn't have to win wave 20 right now. It's like, it's fine to pick Medic, basically, is what I'm- what my new faith is. I believe it's okay to pick Medic. Is that not? Oh, there's- there's- there's actually a little- a little spirit that goes out of the enemies, too. How have I taken this long to realize that? There's a little- little soul that leaves the enemy units as well, it's not just yours. I was like, I, I was- I saw that little soul go up and I thought, that had to be a militia dying, right? No. Oh. Just wasted a potential unit slot. Very strange. I never knew that. Good to know, I guess. Five, two, five, five. I'm gonna do more here. At this point, also, I don't have to move my guards. Like, really, it's just nice that I don't have to micro my guards now. But I, I think it's probably smart to pick up units that win you the early game. I don't think Berserker is one of those units. We already have our one unit. Like, one unit to take the early game for you seems like a good idea to me. Uh, I'm gonna grab a lottery. We can do some fun odd stuff here. I play this 10 times, I should win 300 gold and it should cost me uh, <laughs> more than that, actually. I'm gonna go, like, I think, I think I lose money playing lottery here. Especially if I lose every one. We're like neutral right now. It, it's mostly just fun. Like it's bad. Don't get me wrong. It's very bad to do this, but it's fun. I will just play Potter. I enjoyed it. I had fun at least playing the lottery there. It's like gambling without actually risking any real money. Right side's taking the easier way. Very nice. Wow, they hit. They hit five. Oh wow, my God! They just murdered my guards. It really, it only takes two spitters stacked up to just put you down. Hey, can you guys stop killing me, please? The spitters just put an end to it here. This does, hey, wait, this doesn't look good. Watching these spitters hit every single shot is really upsetting, though. Like, it's not, it is not what I like to see. Thankfully we have these medics or else I think we would have died. But like, this is, this is fucking awful. A great look at why I think spitters are awful. Just look at that shit. Imagine if I died off of that, right? It's, it's really just hard to answer that in a way that isn't just play a million guards or brute force through it, right? The brute force through it line is like, also brute forcing through, you need to be able to one shot big boys. This, the real problem is not the spitters themselves, it's the big boys who tank the hits. Those guys are the, the stopping points. 727. I'm in a tough spot. I'll pick up uh, territory expansion here, probably. That's fine. Eight more population. Good idea. We're mostly just looking for something to stand on our front line at this point. 
It's medic until wave whichever one the the bad enemies show up on. Which is I and this is probably gonna be wave twenty-six. This is gonna be my guess. Is it is it possible for them to show up on twenty-six? I don't actually know. Oh longbow can win us the game. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. I've had a lot of runs where I just like don't pick something like longbow. For basically no good reason. The reason is legitimately just ah, I don't feel like it. Longbow's gonna win us this run. I shouldn't have grabbed Relic. I've bought like two economy cards that are worse than Potter for me, which is not not a good idea, I would say. I would not recommend it. Lottery actively where it loses us money. Excuse me, I had a, had a yawn. I did wake up not too long ago. First thing I did today, play Ratropolis, start the day off right. Get a coffee, play a play Ratropolis. Hell yeah. Musketeer. Nah, we're just gonna go for... Gonna go for the, the young longbow plan. Which is pretty easy, I just need uh, population now. Alright, we have the income, we have the cards, just need population. The, the hard part of longbow is always the transitionary phase where you can't power out 15 of them on either side. Also, it's rough because they struggle against those boys with the shield. Take a quick sip of my coffee here. I'm gonna be honest, that was more than a sip. I fucked this coffee up, I put too much uh, creamer into it and it's way too sweet. Not inedibly so, but it's just a little sweeter than I would have liked it. Inedibly? In Indrinkably? Can you call something inedible if it's a drink? I uh, can... Is that, is that proper cadence? I don't think it is, right? Here we go talking about the English language again. But, inedible versus... Is there a word? For, I mean, I guess everything is technically edible, right? Yeah, like, drinking liquid, I feel like... Why is there a distinction there, I guess, is the, the way I want to go with this. It is charge, boss. Fine. Why is there that distinction between eating and drinking, right? It's ultimately the, all the same. There's my hot take for you here. He broke our wall. You just gotta hit him one more time, my man. Militia just smack him once. Oh, well, he just starts fucking sliding here. There he goes. No big deal. It's a little annoying, but now that we can split units individually, it doesn't, like, stack these guys forever. Which is good. Really, is there is there a reasonable? It's just it's just one of those things that I think. I imagine if I were to look, if I were to try and find it, there's probably at least one language out there where eating and drinking are referred to in the same way. If you know one, please let me know. I would be interested to hear. But I imagine that there's just like it's it's hard to explain, right? But as I as I slowly learn more about languages over the course of my life... Oh, by the way, I should uh, point out what the advisors do. I gotta remember to do this. The silent is plus two cards when you redraw and a plus two second redraw cooldown. However, I believe this is incorrect. I believe it's a five second redraw cooldown. And then the settler is 25% increased population. Oh, reinforce. Yeah. Also, if I can space it, yeah, I'll grab the tax office as well. But no, like, I imagine that there's there's languages out there. As I learn more and more about language, and just, yeah, just basically learn more about language, I learn more about... I, I start to understand how it all works a little more, and I can start to have, like, a, I bet there's a language out there that does this sort of thing, where you just refer to uh, eating and drinking as consuming, right? Like, there's just one word for it sort of deal. Get rid of the relic. It was a dumb pickup. I don't know why I would buy that. They're gonna... They are gonna walk all the way back. Awkward. Do a little mic procession here. Not like we have much more to do. I, I tried learning Korean, as you may remember. I've, I have since, like, stopped. I'll go back to it eventually when I feel like I have more time, basically. It's one of those one of those things that I know is going to be cool to do someday, but right now I just don't feel like I have the time to do it. Uh, we can afford them coming back to threaten the city. With a, with a strong army base, we're fine. Hey, wait, where are you guys going? Get out of here. Back. 
But Korean, Korean did this in a way. It was, uh... It, it was like, it, it was where you... Th there's like, there's like one structure, like one, one, I guess, word, kind of? It's, it's basically a word to refer, to, to use as like a is or are or like basically any form of possession, right? Is, are, belonging to. Which is interesting, it's very strange coming from like, coming from being someone who speaks English and only English, it's always weird to see things like, oh yeah, so there's no, like is and are and like all of these possessions are the same word. That's interesting. And when your hand is empty, minus 50% redraw cooldown. Lame. I don't like hand very much. I used to think hand was really strong, but I've definitely uh, decided that he's not very good. I'm just going to place this wall and then let it get blown up because I don't want it. But no, I, I really find other languages super, super interesting. And at some point in my life, I want to learn... Oh no. <laughs> oh, thank god I noticed that in time. <laughs> Just, oh. What, what else can I say but, oh god, as soon as I saw that. But no, I really, I, I think it'd be cool to learn a bunch of other languages. I'll turn it back up now. I just didn't want to subject us to that noise. But being able to be a linguist just in general, I've always thought would be kind of cool. I just, I don't have the, the discipline to learn anything right now, I feel like. One of my, one of my friends, I think my, it's my, it's my friend's girlfriend. She knows like five languages. She can speak like Spanish, French, uh, I don't, I don't know what the other ones are, but she can speak like five different languages. And I was like, holy shit, that's really cool. Like, that's sweet, dude. I wish I could do that. And it's it's interesting as well, because, like, there's nothing stopping me. There's so many resources online, right? This is, this is one of those things that I think about a lot of times. We're very fortunate to live in this technological age, because if I just decide, like, if, if I can, if I put my mind to it and just spend, like, 30 minutes a day studying, I could probably learn a new language over the course of, like, a year. Honestly, it's like, with how long I've been thinking it'd be cool to learn a new language, I could probably basically be fluent in Korean at this point. Not fluent, but able to speak it with a decent amount of uh, certainty if I would just give up that 15 minutes a day. But it's, it's really, it's like a... I don't know why, but there's, a, there's like that mental block for myself. I could not tell you why, but I just, I just don't want to. I don't know why, because like I do want to, right? I think it's cool to learn. It's like I want to learn, but I don't want to spend the time to learn sort of situation, right? You want your cake and eat it too sort of deal. Which is not surprising considering myself, but interesting, right? It's, it is a, it's, it's really cool to live in a time where I could, if I, if I had the, the dedication, I could just sit down and go, I want to learn a new language and then just learn whatever language I want. They're all dying, but it's good that they're all dying. Like, all of my units dying off is a good thing here. Also, 100%, the fact that guards move out from behind the wall is super good. Oh god. I was too slow. Look at, how, look at how fast this wall's health is going down. It's not so... It's, no, that noise isn't that bad. Get rid of medics. We're just, we're just chain removing. I'm taking all of the... Any, any houses they offer for sure, but for the most part we're just chain removing here. This boss should be no problem because our walls are going to be massive. I don't actually think I need banner right here. I'll grab the horn. I honestly think horn is a little better than banner right on this one. Oh wait, they're killing my guards. Excellent. Very kind. But if my if my numbers are correct, waves spawn roughly every 60 seconds anyway, so Horn is basically just a plus 5 for the duration of each wave. Yeah, our wall's gaining health. The only thing to be concerned about are those shield boys, but there shouldn't be any of them. But no, it really, like, it really is a, if I, uh, when, when I start to think about this, I'm just like, man. 
If only I was a little more motivated, right? Because I could, I could really learn and do anything I wanted to right now. And I could, I, fuck dude, I could make a game right now. I, I started one, you remember that? I haven't worked on it in a while. I lost my, I lost my drive, unfortunately. And same thing here, I'm just going to drop the wall. It's gonna cost me wave time, but we actually don't care about wave time here. As is often the case at this point in a run. Wave time just doesn't matter. It's probably actively going to help us get this run faster. Shouldn't play lottery. We should just reinforce Longbow Steel until we get up to a critical mass. On either side. Maybe after this I'll try to do something productive. It's just that, I don't know. I mean, it really is just that I'm I'm lazy. I could be doing something productive with my time, but instead I spend my free time playing League with my friends, which isn't necessarily a bad thing either. I don't think. Spending time with friends isn't uh, a bad thing. Like, shutting your- there was- there was basically a period when I was making- when I was trying to make that game, there was basically a period where I spent absolutely no time not doing something that I felt was uh, productive, so I was like, I budgeted out my time to make sure I always felt like I was doing something good, and like, it was it was fine, I suppose, but it was also like, I, I didn't talk to my friends, it was just wake up, record, uh, spend like five hours working on a game, or something like that, stream, go to bed, re like, repeat, and it wasn't, it was, it was like, okay, but it was probably not healthy for me. Like, mentally I've felt a little better lately since I've been spending a little more time hanging out with my friends and, you know, just doing things that I want to do instead of doing things that I feel like I should be doing. It's an interesting position to find yourself in, I think. Spending, like... I, I was I was really struck with it, right? I was really, I, I, Honestly, I, when I was struck with this big desire to do stuff, I was, like, I was like, where was this in high school? Or when it ever mattered. And the answer is, well, why, why does anything matter when you're young? Who cares? I'll just figure it out later, right? Because, well, what am I what am I going to do with my life? The question that they asked me a bunch of times in high school, ah, who cares? I'll figure it out later. And now it's later, and I'm like, God, I hate young me. What an idiot. Like, what, what a dumbass young me was. This horn on cooldown. It's gonna, it's gonna be plenty strong enough. It's, I think it's a little better than banners because it should last for the duration of the wave. And it's uh, free, no population requirement there. House please. The silent is not doing much for us here. Bill, uh, Saddler's always huge. Uh, slum cards are fine. I'll just fill it out with slum. Slum plus longbow is a young classic in my mind for it to finish building. I don't care, really, that I'm... Actually, does it even cost me tax? It might not cost us tax because of... Oh, yes, apartment. Because of tax office? It's... It sh no, it, it doesn't because of tax office plus settler, doesn't it? Or doesn't it not, I suppose. Oh, no, it costs us one. Never mind. Cool, though. Uh... Either, like, no matter how you put it, right, I think this one's pretty over for us. I think we should be taking it here. I mean, reinforce longbow. Name a more, name a, more, name a stronger double combo here. We have a wall with 1640. We have no enemies that can jump walls. Like, it's perfectly safe. I guess this is, like, this is what you need. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird because I feel like super strengthening your walls is... Just a pretty free victory condition, but they want it to not be, right? Because they because they added the coast in. They want they want I guess they want the coast to be a map where it's not just upgrade your wall a lot, win the game. I should have upgraded longbow at some point along the way here. Tactician 100% to all defensive building damage. Don't ask me which ones are defensive buildings. I don't know. I'll take longbow. But really, also Settler plus Tax Office is uh, pretty cool. A pretty cool combo. And as we learned from Builder Plus, uh, reinforcing your walls also heals them. So this will... Actually, it'll go up by 120, right? Yeah. Because they gain 60 regular HP as well as 60 max HP on the wall. Which, I don't know why it works that way. It just works. 
I wonder if they got the bonus attack there. Looks like they did get the bonus attack, even though their shots were in the air. Interesting. Imagine having to be the person living in this slum next to the wall. Just like every, every single day you wake up and it's just like, oh, and another lizard shot my house with an arrow and it caught on fire. That's unlucky. We're all dead. Just like, just like that, right? It's like, oh, 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 just barely missed it. And you just go stand out next to the wall. And it's like, hmm, there's some lizards out there. Oops, I've been impaled by an arrow. Oh, whoops. That would, that would not be a fun existence. I would not. I would not. I, I, would, I would not. I, I would just not. I ended up gaining tax anyway because of the apartment. The apartment is interesting, right? It's better efficiency for the purposes of slums, but it's worse efficiency than playing three houses side by side. Always an interesting one. I wonder if maybe it's it was right. It's, it's like for space efficiency, right? Where I feel like it's fine to play it like this just because like playing the apartment isn't that good, but. Uh, it's gonna take a while to get three houses where this is just a big burst of population, right? Plus 10 population is fine, but when you get right down to it, it is worse in terms of uh, spacing. Kinda nice that reinforce heals your wall. I wonder if it's meant to do that or if this is just a bug. <laughs> Repair your house. Oh, oh, we're back. Oh, baby. We get to live again. Oh, no. Not for long. Death approaches. Also, this is another one of those runs. I do this the most with the Navigator, where I just don't even bother clicking his hero ability. And I probably never will, just because I don't respect it whatsoever. I do not think his hero ability is very good here. It's good for, like, fishing the Slayer's achievement, and that's basically it. We're done. I'm just gonna let this wave... I I'm just gonna let it roll here, basically. This is, this is where you roll the end credits. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Way too much creamer, this is so sweet. Oh, it's way too sweet. It's like a it's like a caramel creamer too, so it's kinda like it's got that weird caramely aftertaste to it. I gotta reinforce at least a little bit. We can't just chill. We're not one shotting everything, so I have to reinforce at least enough that we don't uh, die. Right, we need we need a few a little bit of time here. Anyway. Fortress is a nah uh pass it. Okay. A repair would be nice. Can I get a repair out on this one? Nah? Okay. I've been seeing th there's a picture that floats around Twitter every now and then. And this is it's a I, I've, it's it's made a it's made a resurgence where it's basically just a uh, how do you eat these three things? And so you you post a response to it. They're all they're like number and letter coded. It's steak, and then it has the five donenesses for steak from uh, rare to well done. And then it's toast with like different vari it's like six variations of the amount of toastedness you do. And then it's uh, coffee, like from with just how much creamer, right? So like from purely black to white with creamer, and. It really, it really is one of those things that reminds me that uh, the internet is hell and elitism runs rampant no matter what you do. Because every single time I see this post, someone is like, unfriend me if your steak choice is anything beyond fucking three, which is the medium. And I'm just like, God, shut up. Like, I, this is one of those things, there's not a whole lot that I feel very strongly about. But this is one of those things that I do feel strongly about. I hate, I hate, especially with steak, I hate steak discourse. Every every time we have this discussion too on on stream or wherever, I take I take this stand. Even though I am not a person like I, I have my stakes usually if I have one I have it medium. But like there's people out there who are like, if you don't like your steak rare, like I, I've actually had this have had this exact sentence said to me, which is if you like your steak well done, you shouldn't eat steak because you're disrespecting the cow. To which the only thing I could say is shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what do you mean? And it's just it really is, the the whole image is just a place to be an elitist jerk about how you uh, enjoy your foods. Honestly, it's like if you enjoy your toast, if you enjoy your toast as just bread with butter on it, who fucking cares, right? It's like 
I, I understand it. I always understand it because I do the whole food tier listing and we have our fun food discussions on my stream. I always understand the like that that I am coming from a strange position as someone who occasionally acts in the point in the role of food elitist. However, I hope that you can understand that I actually don't care, right? Like if you enjoy a food that I don't, good, do it, hell yeah, great choice, right? If you like uh, cottage cheese, eat it, excellent, great idea. I don't really care, but. I, just, I, I hate I hate seeing that. Like, every time I go into the comments on that post when it shows up, it's like someone will post something inflammatory. Like they'll post the they, they want their steak well done, and all of the replies are just like you should be killed. And I, I like I, I like to hope that it's ironic, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. We actually uh, insulated ourselves against the owl here because we have the extra wall. Good call, me. I didn't think about that, but still. Like, I enjoy my coffee with a little bit of creamer because I don't hate myself. I, I enjoy a little bit of flavor in my life. I enjoy uh, my steak with a little bit of doneness because blood the blood kind of makes me uncomfortable when my steak is bleeding. Uh, I don't really like that. And honestly, it's like toast is like just, just lightly toasted. I don't want my toast fucking burnt. But then there's always some fucking asshole in these that are like, well, I like my f my steak rare, my toast blackened, my coffee also black because I hate flavor. And I'm just like, God, st stop! Don't like like this. I understand and respect. Like, and I respect that opinion as well, right? I don't want to be a food elitist towards this person who likes their food blackened. But then. You'll always see that same person somewhere, like, usually they, they write that and then they go, if you think anything else, unfriend me. And I'm like, first of all, it's unfollow me, you fool. And second of all, shut up. I don't want to be friends with you anyway. I don't want to follow you on Twitter because you're an elitist. And it's probably, it's probably all ironic and I'm just shouting at nothing, but I had to fill five minutes of dead time where the run was won and I had to talk about something. And I hate that picture. It really is just, it, it's like, I, basically, my, the way that I look at it, right, is if you have a hundred people who are saying something, the odds are, even if most of them are ironic, someone actually believes it. This is the problem with, like, those, I mean, it's the main problem with people who are like, haha, uh, ironic racism is funny, which is a different topic in, in, its, in its entirety, but, like, there was a subreddit on Reddit, Gamers Rise Up, that got banned for ironic racism because eventually, if you go on down that irony path long enough, you eventually just replace all of the people doing the irony with actual racists. And I know comparing how you like your steak done to racism is a uh, interesting comparison, but the irony thing holds up, I think, where it's just like, if you're doing it ironically, some people in this list are going to end up being... Uh, Legitimate, which is why in my as I've grown older, I've moved away from irony as a form of media or as a form of entertainment because it usually just leads to uh, actually believing that thing, and it's not cool. Or it is cool. Like if you actually believe you want your steak rare, and everyone else is a degenerate, sure, dude. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode now instead of continuing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.